This real estate book explains the fraud behind mortgages and how to win your property back. All that happens in a foreclosure process is that the lender, typically a bank, is claiming that you breached your fiduciary obligation and failed to pay back the loan that they gave you. This is known as a default. But here's the problem. In the promissory note, the lender, typically a bank, also promised to actually give you money, which they never did. A mortgage is a pledge of security for the loan. But in order for the house to be pledged as security, the money has to first have been lent as the mortgage is predicated on the promissory note and the note relies on the parties fulfilling their fiduciary obligations. The bank never sends any transaction, check, money order, deposit, or cash to the borrower, thereby creating no debt. So if the bank never gave you any money, how could you be in default on failure to make payments on things that you never received? That is known as promissory fraud. It's an action where a defendant fraudulently induces the plaintiff, meaning you, to enter into a written contract. In a promissory fraud action, to sufficiently allege that the bank made a misrepresentation, the complaint must allege, one, that the, de that the defendant, who would be the bank, made a representation of intent to perform some future action, meaning the bank made a promise to pay you, and two, the bank did not really have the intent at the time that that promise was made, meaning it was a false promise. This book right here explains how in a promissory note, there must be proof that the borrower received the face amount of the note. There has to be proof that some type of monetary transaction was advanced, meaning you actually received the loan. They have to actually prove that. This book is explaining how you were escheated out of your estate through estate embezzlement, how the bank committed fraud and breach of fiduciary duty. How could they possibly foreclose on a loan, any loan, student loan, credit card, home loan, mortgage? How could they claim that you're in default if they never loaned you any money? There has to be proof that they gave you anything. If not, then they're not a lender and you're not a borrower.